Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Yo, 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 hey, man, Boss Talk 101, man, review, man, listen, man, crazy, crazy situation. I'm hearing that uh, Rich Homie Quan going through some complications. I'll just say that at the least. Uh, latest update I'm seeing now, I've been waiting, it's just trying to see, and nobody can get him to say nothing on his IG. It says here on a tweet, or it says, uh, it's being reported that Rich Homie Quan was found unresponsive after being missing since 4 a.m. this morning. He was transported to Grady Memorial Hospital around 9 a.m. where medical staff has been working on him for three hours. It's unclear if he has passed at this time. Please keep him and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Man, so it looked like Rich Homie Quan had a rough, rough, rough start of the day. Um, I'm praying and hoping that that this ain't true, but it looking bad because everybody reporting on this. I got my boy Trill Talk, no pill talk. What's going on, Trill Talk? Not much, man. That's just kind of some sad news right there. Do, do you think this to be true, though? Because, like I said, we ain't really just heard from TMZ on it. I just seen, you know, multiple blogs posting it, but, you know, you know how that is sometimes. I just, I'm just, I'm the type of blog, you know, I'm going to sit back. I need to. Need the facts. I ain't in a rush to post nobody past, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the the people are. I look at it a little bit different, I guess, because you know all the people that watch the show, you know, they're waiting. We're waiting. We're like family. So at the end of the day, just something like this, you know, I won't definitely say something has happened to him, and I don't have no stern proof. I've seen Jacquees. I've seen. I've seen all these posts. I've seen credible people, Boosie, po everybody posting it, but it's still a thing where I'm just, I'm not Boosie sure. He said he OD'd. Everybody's saying he OD'd on the ones that I'm seeing, but is this something that we can assure credit to, man? Look, do you see anything, anything coming in right now that's uh, something we can, we can rely on? I also had another source that uh, kind of confirmed it for me as well down there. So I called, I've been calling. You know, I know people, so I'm calling all the people that I know. Hey, man, what's going on? Is this a real thing? There's one guy that I could have called, but they so close, I wouldn't call him. Yeah. And me, I interviewed him, and it was like, okay, certain people, you know, all of them close to him, but this guy is really close to him. So I was like, nah, it'll be tough to talk to him right now, even if he's just sick. So it's like, nah, I'm going to wait, and I'm still, like I said, I'm still uh, just just waiting and hoping and praying that we can, you know, that this just something that he went through and that he's doing good and that they get him responsive if there was an issue at all. You know, a lot of people are upset because they're saying people shouldn't even be speaking on this if they don't know for sure this man passed away. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I am. Kind of like, if I don't know for sure, I don't, want to, I don't even want to say nothing until I know the facts. Yeah, well, like I said, it's just so tough. How much does the internet influence things? The way people be looking at the internet and then seeing all this stuff. What? How effective is that? And what do you think the effect, the after effects will be? I mean, I think it moves fast. I tell you that much. And sometimes, you know, you'll find out your people did before anybody else do. I mean, for the uh, the, the news will tell you before you even know. Man, Rich Homie Quan, uh, he had, you know, he just had that thing where Woody was saying that they shot his dad, his barbershop up. Uh, I've seen him on an interview here recently where he debunked that and was just like it wasn't that many shots or it was something. Did you see that? Yeah, I seen that, yeah. So that was recent. Yeah, that's why when I first seen it, I thought it was something like that. Yeah, I was like, man, maybe they was talking about that. But then I seen, I seen that, I said, nah, man, I guess he... That's what they say. I hate to, I, you know, he had kids, man. He had children. Um, he have children. I don't want to talk about him past tense because we definitely praying for him over here at Boss Talk 101 and Trill Talk No Pill Talk. I know you're doing the same, but his children and stuff, man, this is like, if it was, and this is hypothetically, man, like these, what? Okay, I was just saying, man, back in the day when we were selling crack, not you, but me. I'm all older than you. When it hit the scene, we didn't, you know, this thing was glorified by certain rappers. You already know the ones that glorified it, Percocets, probably Percocets, and all these different pills and stuff. We didn't have nobody rapping by crack in a way, but hustling crack. I think that helped us. You know what I'm saying? 
We, yeah. Everybody's talking about selling crack. You would sell crack. How much of an effect do you think these the music have when a person is listening to it and, and get caught up in the moment? Man, I think it got a big effect on it. Like, man, uh, the more they glorify it, the more the kids going to do it. Yeah, because it's like a, it's almost like a, like a worshiping deal, right? Yeah, it's like they, they, they taking the pills to it. Like, that's part of life. I guess it's like when they smoke, you know, people smoke weed. I guess now the pills is the new weed. You know, everybody, everybody popping them pills. I just, I, I've never been a big fan of nothing like that, but yeah, it's causing a lot of problems with people today, though. It's a major way. Kenny B, and he locked up, man, free Kenny B, but uh, Kenny B came and showed how, I mean, I think that's probably one of my most powerful interviews when it come down to somebody who was challenged with quitting Percocet and who was, well, well, Perks or whatever, and he came openly and spoke about it on my show. I don't know if you've seen that interview, but he basically was just, you know, saying how hard it was to get off of it and how tough it was seeing his friends after he had got off of it dying still. You know, you know, a lot of it, it come from the it come from the pharmaceutical industry. They they they, they sit and pushing these pills on people. Right. Like I, it don't matter if you're taking a hydrocodone, or ice coat or whatever, when you take them, you in the hospital, you get addicted to them. When I broke my arm, I had to take them pills and, and they have to win you off of it. The doctor had to win you off of it. Like I didn't I wasn't addicted to them, but he literally had to start lowering the dosage as he go out. He couldn't just take me off of like that. Wow. Man, like I said, man, I hope this isn't true. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to continue to look and see, you know, if anything credible comes out. Are you seeing anything yet? You know, because you quick with it. Like, yeah, I ain't seeing nothing right now. I'm, I'm looking at it as we speak. And I, most I've seen is the same thing we've been seeing the whole movie. Yeah, and as this is one that lingering because it wasn't. It, it, we know you usually we'll hear something the family will speak or whatever who said let this update who who was the ones responsible for that i don't uh let me see uh that was uh i see it on gdp's page okay but he also says rp in the post so i don't know where it came from it's just a clip of that. it's really a ner i mean you know how how much do people depend on tmz to report it before they believe it I think if you if you hear somebody close to the family say that's how you should. Yeah, but that's not the way it goes. I'm telling you, I sat back and, and you'll hear people say, well, I'm waiting to see what TMZ say about it. I'm waiting to see. They don't even say the news like it's TMZ is the is the deciding factor in a lot of these different things. And that's changed the game, I believe. Yeah, they, they more, they more, uh, they more uh, important news than CPS and the Fox News. Yeah, I don't think the news has stayed up on this internet phase like they should have, and I think that's why we're seeing that type of effect. You know that? Yeah. A lot of times people are not susceptible to change, and when change happens, they're not ready for it. Yeah, because so, nowadays we are the news. There it is. Everybody else that's reporting like that. But, man, just keep me updated. And like I said, if, if we do get a confirmation, either way, I, I'll come back and I'll, I'll uh, do a second video, okay? But man, thank you so much, man. I, I like I said, man, keep keep uh, Rich Home and Quan uh, in your prayers. Either way, it is not looking good. If he even had to be rushed to the hospital, uh, I just want to give my people that watch Boss Talk One Hundred One an update on what we were seeing over here, and just say, hey, man, make sure you guys uh, keep watching and like and subscribing, man. Boss Talk One Hundred One, Boss Talk One Hundred One review. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.